Mars is a strange planet with some pretty strange features. Let's check out the triangles. But first, what, let's see what I call the high five. It's upside down. But that's a pretty good number five on Mars. It's next to a pyramid, too. And the south side is east-west aligned. It's also just 22 miles away from the famous face. Next, what we have is neither a pyramid nor a triangle, but very much in between. It is a triangular incline. The south side is almost east-west aligned, not quite. This next triangle I showed you in another video is to the underground entrances. So here it is again. Part of it's missing, but it's a pretty good triangle. It's got three equal sides. And the south side is east-west aligned. The next triangle, the last triangle, is actually two for the price of one. It's one inside another. It's unfortunate we can't see all of it, but it's there. It's small, it's not aligned, but still a pretty good triangle within a triangle. And they're aligned with each other. And now for the box-like object in the flat stony ground. It's consisting of straight lines. It's so it looks like a three-dimensional box. It's next to a strange symbol. And it's slightly elevated. So it's sort of a 3D image of a box in an otherwise flat terrain. Next, we'll check out the strange structure in the ground. It could be natural, but it looks artificial. It looks like a building or maybe a giant plate that fell off of something. Next is what I call the fishing pole. It's a series of lake beds or depressions in the ground. But my question is, is that straight line natural or artificial? I don't know. Not much here, just a hole in the ground in a otherwise flat terrain. It looks like it caved in, but why was the ground hollow? Why is the hole so round? Is anything down there? We'll just have to explore that someday. And last of all is the monolith in this lake bed. You can't see it very well. But you can see the shadow, and that is clearly a tall, lone-standing monolith, however it got that way. And that's it.